Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would do a Camille Grammer inspired makeup look. Um, she is, as you all probably know, Kelsey Grammer's wife, and she has been on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And as soon as I started watching that, I just loved her makeup. And a few of you have asked me, you know, why I like it and everything, and I'm kind of gonna go over that in this tutorial. Um, it's the first time I've ever done like an inspired look, so um, please bear with me, and um, I hope you like it, and I'll be right back. Okay, all I have on so far is my Laura Mercier Loose Mineral Powder. I don't, I haven't sprayed Fix Plus, I haven't put bronzer on, I haven't done anything else but just the Laura Mercier and then my Abaji Skincare and Sunscreen. So one thing I wanted to show you guys and um, though this is going to be a Camille Grammer inspired look I think the reason that I'm drawn to her makeup is because it's similar to the way I do mine and it's similar to the look that I One like. One thing I have noticed um, that I am liking about myself and that I like about her is that there's not a whole lot of bronzer. Um, she has great bone structure anyway but I've enjoyed just wearing the bronzer um, on my forehead and I want to show you what a difference that makes. So you can see my forehead in all its glory here and in this tutorial I am trying to pick things that are easily accessible to all of you and one that I think is very easy to get is this Smashbox um, Suntan Matte. It's just a good matte bronzer and I'm going to use my MAC 138 and I just get a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to do across the edges of my forehead right there at the hairline and you will see what a difference it makes if I forget this I notice it immediately so it just adds kind of like a frame especially if you don't have bangs if you have bangs you might not need to do this but um so that's the only place I've been putting bronzer lately it keeps your forehead from looking so big and wide and it kind of just immediately frames your really face nice um warmth and frame to your face like that. So that's about all of the bronzer that I would use. Um, now we know Camille from one of the episodes, we know she uses NARS Orgasm, but when I look at her makeup and all the different pictures and on the show and everything, she just uses a peachy pink. Sometimes it's more coral, sometimes it's more pink, and that's what I've noticed with her makeup. Sometimes it goes towards the more baby pink, and then sometimes it's more coral. So, and I like to mix the two. So, any of those colors that you like. One of my favorites right now is the Sue Devitt um, Los Angeles. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but of course I'll put everything down below. Um, it's just a beautiful peachy pink color and it's pretty matte. There's no sparkle in it. So I like to use my MAC 116 and I just get some on both sides and then um, I like to go up under right on the cheekbone or a little bit underneath like that. See and that instantly creates that dimension. Um, and I don't know if you'll notice that I did not put on any highlight because if I were going to put on highlight I would put it on before I do my blush but I've noticed with Camille's look her look is not really it's um, luminous and dewy but it's not shimmery and that's kind of what I like too and that's what the Laura Mercier will kind of get a little bit you. more on my brush and just go right on the cheekbone because that's what part of her look is that those pretty pinky peach cheeks. So, hope you can see that. And then you see you still have the glow coming out from the Laura Mercier. So, I would do that next. And let's see, I already have um, my, I use the, what is it, Michael Todd eye base today. And then Another thing I'm going to do is the, and this is the one thing that's not available, but I just feel like this is just so much part of um, the way I've been doing my makeup lately. I didn't want to not include it, but it's the Girl Friendly Paint Pot. And here's the color, and there has just got to be something else out there, and I'm going to make it my mission to find it. So, But right now I'm just going to use this, and I just get a little bit, 
and I go ahead and use it as a base all the way up to the crease. And you can see it's pretty enough just to use on its own, but it just makes a real pretty base to um, add. I use it for any color, pinks, peaches, browns. I'm going to do at this point is, and I probably would have done it before now, is I'm going to go fix plus my face and spray it a little bit and I'll be right back. I'm going to do is the lips. And I, like, I, I, like I said, I've tried to pick some things that would be easy for you to get. And Camille's lips always, that's one of my favorite things. And I, I definitely know she's had injections, so she's got good lips. My lips are just my lips. They might are going to be probably a little bit more wrinkly than hers. <laughs> But um, she always uses, it never looks too um, intense. It's always a peach, peachy or pinky type gloss. And it looks like what she does to me is it's not really like a milky look. It's more of like a um, see-through type look. And so I picked this lip liner, which is the NYX Rose, which is a really good one. So I'm just going to line my lips like I normally would. And then fill them in. And then press them together. So that gives you a real pretty pink base. And I don't notice, like, the edges of her lips aren't very um, different than, you know, she doesn't have a bunch of dimension going on. It's mostly just a real, it reminds me of, like, if you were looking at a swimming pool and the bottom of the pool were painted coral or pink and then the water over it, how you would get that color, but you would still have that shiny over it. And um, Bobby Brown has a lot of glosses that are like that. Um, the one I chose is one of my favorites, and it's called Pink Lemonade. And it's available, it's MAC, and it's a classic. But I'm going to blot this really quick. And then I'm going to put this over it. And that is probably a little bit pinker than I would want it to look. So I'm going to blot this and then go over it with a peachy color. Revlon Peach Petal. And that just makes it a little lighter. Okay, so now we've got our lips done, and I am going to, there are, the main thing I've noticed, and I've had people ask me, you know, what do I like about Camille's makeup, because it's kind of like a no-makeup look, and that's kind of what I like about it. I like, you know, of course I like, my book used to be right here, of course I like Kim Kardashian's makeup. I like, you know, there's so many people that I love their makeup but I've had to face the facts that I don't look like Kim Kardashian and I don't have her coloring so her makeup doesn't really look good on me. I realize I don't look like Camille but I do have her coloring except for I think she has brown eyes and I have blue eyes but um, it's just a similar style. I like that she doesn't wear any makeup on the bottoms of her lashes. Kind of like Rachel Zoe is another one that I like her makeup. There's a few things you can do that make a big difference, but yet you look like you, you don't immediately look like you have a lot of makeup on. So those are things that I'm trying to show you now. So the first thing is no bronzer and just a peachy pink um, blush. Um, glossy lips, not a lot of... Um, Let's see, just, you know, really what my favorite thing to do, and I didn't want to use it in this video, 
because it's hard to get is my favorite thing for her lips would be that um, Catrice Nude Rose, which is a pinky pink color. I like filling my lips in with that and then maybe putting a clear gloss over top. So that's something else you can do. I was just trying to give you some different options. And so another thing, the biggest thing that I've noticed about her eyes and her eye makeup and something that I've started doing is she uses a usually either a peach or a pink color all over her lids and sometimes I've noticed that it's like a, when it's a pastel pink it's not very frosty and then sometimes I've noticed it has been frosty it's just whatever you like so I've pulled out several different options um, one option is this Sue Debit color that I really like and it's a good peachy color it's called the Silky Sheen eyeshadow in Midnight Sun and that's a good one if you want just a it's not, it is shimmery, but it's not glittery. So that's one color. Another one that I like using is this Pixie um, Fairy Light Solo in Champagne Glow. And that creates a really good glow look too. Um, you could use some of these colors, and I've got them in my Z palette that Kirsten sent me, um, like Floof or solar white any of those colors over here that are a shimmery color so what she does is she puts the shimmery color all over the lid and that's what i'm going to do and the brush i like to use is usually this um sonia sonia kashuk little brush that i love so the color that i'm going to choose today is going to be i think i'll use this pixie color on my lids. So I just get some on the brush and I pretty much start out just making a base. All over the lids like that. And doing it all the way up to the crease. And I don't really, with this look, I don't really use a highlight. I'm just going to depend on um, the, either the Laura Mercier Wheat or the, like today I use the Michael Todd, which is almost exactly the same. I, I depend on that just to even out that skin tone and it gives just a natural highlight. Then, the next step that I do is going to be the liner. Now, there's two different things. I've been doing like a really kind of an exaggerated cat eye liner lately, but that's not really what they do with Camille's makeup. So I'm going to do that in a separate video. Today, I'm just going to concentrate on doing my um, interpretation of Camille's makeup. And what I think they do with hers would be just a close line to thicken her lashes. I, I, you can use anything for this. What I'm going to use is just the Blitz and Glitz gel liner. That's just... A favorite of mine from a long for a long time now so this is my all-time favorite eyeliner brush um, especially for doing a winged liner now I just got a new one that I'll show you on Friday that might might end up replacing this but this is the Sigma SS 209 now I realize they probably have changed that number or name but I got this in that original set and I love it. It's so, I like that it is, let's see, find some of my other so here ones. Here is the um, MAC 209 and you can see the difference in how much, this one's just a little bit thicker and it has more of a rounded end. I actually use this one for my Latisse. And then I also have the, um, I don't see it here, I think I've taken it out of my, Jar, but I also have the Sonia Kashuk Bent Liner Brush, which I used to really like until I got this. And now this one is just great. So I just get a little bit of this Blitz and Glitz or any liner you want. But the first thing I do is just get this liner down at the roots of my lashes. Don't worry about winging it out or anything right now. Just You want this just to make your lashes look thicker and to give that accent to your top lash line. So I start out, I always start out right here at the and I just stay right at the lashes concentrating on where your eyelid kind of folds rolls down into the lashes 
and don't go too far out. My eyes naturally, um, you know, go go down. So, and that's another thing that I think I have kind of in common with her is we both have the eyes that go down, and then we both have that um, definite bone, I guess, I don't know, ocular bone or whatever it's called that goes right here. And you have to kind of learn how to work with that in your crease color. So I'm going to do that on that side. And you can see it's not, um, it doesn't have to be precise because you're just wanting to thick your, thicken your lashes. There you go, and you can see how that instantly gives that thickness. So that's all I'm going to do right now. I heard getting her makeup done several times, and I have like watched it over and over again. And if any of you have missed what we're talking about here, it's the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and it's Camille Grammer. And if you want to go to Bravo online, you can watch um, different segments. And I know that there is a segment. Um, I think it's after her and. Um, Oh, goodness, her and the other girl, I can't remember her name right now, got into an argument in New York, and they're doing her eye makeup. There's just several places where they're doing her makeup that I've paid attention and um, looked at different pictures. And so what I have noticed is so far that they've got a light color all over her lid, and then I put the dark right there. What I'm going to do next is get my dark color. The main thing that I have changed, and I think you know, for this look, you need to do is skip the mid-tone color. Like right now, you would typically think of putting a mid-tone color on the crease and then going back in with a darker color on the outer V. Well, don't, with her look, you don't use a mid-tone color. You just go straight for the outer V or crease color. Now, you can use, I've known, all the colors she used are in the purple family, but they could be more of the, um, you know, um, I've noticed that they're more in the like burgundy purples or in the blue purples. Um, one color that I love to use, there's several colors I like to use. There's some in the Coastal Scents palette. There's one um, in my um, Pandora's, Pandora's box makeup or Pandora's makeup. I have one there. Any of the smoky purples. Um, the one I'm going to use today, I wanted to get one that was real accessible, and it is the NARS on Dine that I showed you the other day. And this is, you could go darker than this, but I'm going to do a day look since it's Sunday, and John's at work today. He had to work, um, and I'm going to be with the kids, so I'm just going to do a light look, and I'm going to use this, which is a beautiful color. Um, and the brush that I feel like has just changed the way I do my makeup and I just wholeheartedly think that you would like this brush and it is the Sue Devitt Lash Line brush and I believe it's 27, 27, 28, 29 right in there and it's just a small brush with soft curved edges. Um, you know I've got all kinds of brushes like this NARS brush. Um, I've got just just loads and loads of angled brushes, um, you know, all kinds of brushes to do, you know, crease work and lash line work. And I've got a, um, oh yeah, this Laura Mercier. I almost didn't get this because I had this, and I'm so glad that I didn't because this is just wonderful. Here's that little bent liner brush that I like from Sonia Kashuk, but I, I still like my other one, the SS209, better. Okay, so I take this brush and I just dip it in the color that I'm going to use and normally I would um, I always knock it off on my little faucet and you go in at an angle right here and create your your dark color and then kind of go over that liner with this brush and it will soften that line and then I go in at an angle again you get more color on your lid, on your brush. So again, go in at an angle and just get that dark at the edge. And then take this brush and just whip it in right on that edge, right on that bone. And you can see it puts that darkness right there on the edge. 
and don't go too far in. Just concentrate it right there on the edge of that um, bone right there. And then bring it back in towards the outside like that. And then I would take it on this side, go across your shut out like that and then I would bring it right up in on this bone like that and then you know connect it back down and so you're concentrating just that little bit of color right there on the edge and you can see that instantly gives you that um, you know just a little bit of dimension but you're not putting a full crease color all the way over and you can go darker than that, um, but I'm just going to leave it like that. You can see how easy it is. This brush is just perfect. Now, I don't know if it's just perfect for me, but I think it's worth a shot. And if even if you didn't use it for a shadow, just, you, just having it to smooth out, especially with the Sudevit pencils, um, you can take that pencil and then, you know, whip it right back up into your crease like that. It's just perfect. So there goes that darkness right there. Now what I usually do is go back in on the lid with a shimmery color. Just That's how you get that big lid space look. Um, the color I'm going to use today is going to be Floof because I think it's something that um, all of you can get and it's just a pretty pink shimmery color. And so I just go right back in on the lid right here. So you can see. And it kind of, if you've put too much crease color down, it will take care of that. And then I usually just carry that color inside the tear duct too. Like that. And see that instantly makes your eyelids look bigger and because you haven't carried that crease color all the way over it doesn't close in your eyes it just keeps them kind of open looking and that's what I like about her is um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick I noticed that her eyebrows are kind of light kind of probably lighter than mine and thinner than mine but I'm just you know I'm into leaving mine natural now so I'm taking my blonde brow gel and I'm just gonna go over my brows and just comb them out and get them straight looking okay and I am going to go put um, mascara on and I'll be right back put my mascara on and I halfway thought about um, putting on false lashes because you know that all those girls always have on false lashes and that would give this that would give way more definition to the tops but I thought you know I'm just gonna do it like I would do it so and another thing you could do is if you want more of a liner look or if you want more definition on the edges like I have been doing with the um, cat eyeliner, then you can incorporate that. But I don't really see that in hers. I don't see a lot of liner. It's mostly just a darker color. So you could even take a darker purple, like one of my favorite, favorite. Matter of fact, I'm going to go get that. I right got it out of my palette. It's Graphology. Max Graphology. That is a great, almost black purple. So what you could do is if you want more um, definition at your lash line, you could take whatever brush you're comfortable with. I'll just grab this um, SS266 and get a little bit on this brush and then you could go right in at the lash line like that. And give that a little bit more definition. And then if you want to add a little bit to your crease, just to darken it a little bit, because it's so dark, take a fluffy brush. Like this is the Chanel number 12. And just get a little bit on your crease, I mean on your brush, crease brush, and go in just real softly right on the edge. Right, and work right on that bone. You can see that that darken it up just a little bit. 
and just put a little bit and then go right there. You see that? We're darkening it up that much more. So that's just another option and you know with the same version of makeup you're still keeping the lids really light you're still not really using a mid-tone and you're still just applying it to the outer edges of your brow bone um another thing i wanted to mention is we all know i like a dewy makeup look and i catch a lot of heat for it <laughs> but if you don't like like you think for one thing i'm sitting in front of three windows here but if you don't like this look but you don't want to look powdery just get your um powder or a blotting paper and you can blot in the areas that you don't want to be as shiny. Use I'll these. go get my e.l.f. shine erasers. It's hard to grab just one. Did I just grab one? Okay. And if I ever do it, I usually do it right here. Oh, it is too. So I'll do it right here. And you can see I still shine. And then on my nose and then on my chin and that way you still have the glow on your face and you because I just don't like to add powder I just don't think I don't like the way it looks so the final thing I'm going to do is add my um, and this is always my last step is I'm going to use my concealer which is the clay de Poe, which I realize is a little pricey but you really get a lot in here and it's just the best to me and it is kind of cakey not cakey it's thick and opaque but what you have to do is just warm it up you know with your finger and I just put it right in those darkest areas, right here. And then I just kind of pat it in where I want it to go. If you need a little bit more, like that. Just pat it in. It just gives you that little bit of brightness. And if you want to do, just use the least amount possible. Sometimes I put a little bit out here. In case any of that dark shadow. Okay, and then that brightens that up. Okay, I think that is it. So, um, I hate to keep sounding redundant, but um, I've never really done an inspired look before. So I'm kind of nervous. I was actually almost shaking before I did this. But um, I even put on like a, a light pink. She seems to wear a lot of pastel pinks and blues and stuff, which I like to do too. Um, looks like her nails are usually always a, um, you know, a light neutral color. This is the OPI bubble bath. And I, don't, I was going to look some more, but I couldn't remember any earrings that she wore. I think she just wears studs a lot. So I just put in some CZ studs. And... Um, so just to top it all off, I think the main thing is not using the mid-tone color, um, just accenting the very edge of your crease instead of all the way across, um, using something light and usually sparkly on the lid to make your lid space look larger, um, good, lash, you know, good lash line and good lashes on the top, nothing underneath, um, peachy, pinky, blush. Um, right under the cheekbones, um, I think she uses a luminescent, you know, makeup, nothing matte or powdery, um, peach or pink lips, um, and I think you'll pretty much have her look. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you real soon. Next time, I'll probably do, my next tutorial, I'll do the winged liner for you, because I just happen to like that more. Um, it just adds a little bit more to me, to my eyes. So I'll do that next and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.